Hi, my name's Nicole with So Much More and I'm your Juki brand ambassador. Today, we're going to be making this really adorable makeup bag with a Tijima Sai. We'll be making our own custom lining with the Rico RI100. Printing your own fabric is fun and easy. I'm using a 100% quilting cotton fabric and placing it on top of the Rico RI100 platen or tray. I take time to align the fabric so that the printing will be applied to the appropriate space. Once I have the fabric where I want it, I ensure that the excess fabric is tucked away under the platen. I close the top of the frame and prepare to insert the platen into the RH100. The Rico RH100 has preheated and is ready to take this project. This step will not only remove the wrinkles and give me a smooth surface for printing, but it also lets the fabric warm up, which makes for a better overall printing result. It only takes a quick 30 seconds to prep the fabric in the RH100. Now I can simply remove the project and insert the platen into the RI100 for printing. I've already programmed my design and all I need to do is press the print button. Depending on how vivid you want the printing to be, it's how much time it takes to print your project. I just designed a repeat of the Juki logo, which is a nice blue design. This was a quick printing job. Once the printing is finished, we need to set the ink by placing the project back into the RH100 for finishing. First, we move the lever to the right, which starts the timer for three minutes. Once that's finished, then we remove the project from the RH100. Because I want to cover the entire piece of fabric with my custom design, I'll rearrange the fabric and start the process again. Be sure to visit the link below this video to get your free pattern, which includes your cutting and assembly instructions. Now that we have our lining fabric printed, let's make the bag lining. I'm using the Juki TL18 QVP sewing machine. This is a semi-industrial machine with straight stitch only. It's perfect for making bags. To make the lining, I have folded each short edge to the inside and I'm sewing these down. Fold the lining in half, right sides together, and make a finger pressed seam down the center of the lining, and then fold each sewn edges in towards the center press seam. Once you have that aligned, go ahead and sew each side closed. When I get to the part where the two sides come together, it's a good idea to do a little back tack sewing because this is going to be an area that gets a lot of use so it's best to give it a few more stitches. Now I'm going to create the box corners. I'm using a small ruler, but you can make yourself a square template. Be sure to check your pattern for the box corner measurements. I'm using a pencil to make my marks and I'm making sure that the starting point of my measurement is from the seam and not the edge of the fabric. Remember, we just made a seam on that raw edge side of this lining and my box corner measurements are starting at the seam and not the edge of the fabric.
Now this is really starting to take shape. We're going to set our lining aside while we create our exterior fabric. The Tajima Sai is perfect for personalizing your projects. We're going to place our USB and choose our design. From here, you can pick the colors for your design. For this project, we're going to be using a large tubular frame that comes included in the Sai. Next, set up where you want the design and click Trace. Once you're ready, go ahead and click Start. For our project, we chose beautiful flowers that you can find on your Tajima Sai Writer Plus Design Library. Once the design has completed stitching, remove the frame from the machine and remove the fabric from the frame. Quick and simple. I've sandwiched my custom embroidered exterior with some quilt batting and muslin for the backing. I'm using my free motion foot and I'm also using the Juki Quilters Ring. The Juki Quilters Ring is a great tool to help you control your fabric while moving it underneath the needle. Let's add onto our bag exterior. I'm using clips to keep the zipper in place. The zipper length I chose is long enough to extend both sides of the bag. I also chose a zipper that has nylon teeth so that it's easy to cut to length. I've placed the zipper right sides together to the exterior of the bag, and I'm using my zipper foot and sewing close to the zipper teeth. I'm taking my time and I'm removing the clips as I get next to them. Once I have the top side finished, I flip the bag over and then I sew down the other side of the zipper tape. I have aligned the second exterior panel with the opposite side of the zipper tape and I'm following the same process to sew the panel to the zipper tape and then I'm also going to sew the zipper tape down to the back side of the panel. The next step is to align the bottom of the exterior panels right sides together. Sew the panels together. The remainder of the steps are much like how the lining was made. We're going to align the zipper with the bottom seam and use clips to keep the open ends together. Make sure that you open up your zipper tape and attach the tabs to the inside of the bag. Take special care when you go over the zipper. The TL18 QVP features a float foot function, which is great for a multitude of layers and thick seams. This machine is perfect for fashion handbag making, and even piecing. I've used the float foot function while sewing down these pull tabs. That's quite a bit of thickness with two layers of batting, multiple layers of quilting cotton, and pull tabs.
go ahead and trim off the excess zipper tape. And much like the lining, we're going to be creating our boxed corners. Remember, we're measuring our box from the edge of the seam and not the edge of the fabric. We'll be doing that for each corner and then take your fabric scissors and cut away your box corners. When sewing the box corners together, I use clips to keep everything in place. Depending on the thickness of your bag, you may need to raise your presser foot, which is no problem with the Juki TL18 QVP. Make sure that you backstitch at the beginning and at the end of each box corner closing. Before we sew the front of the bag closed, we'll insert the bag handle. This handle was customized with a name. We used the Tajima Sai embroidery machine to personalize the handle. Personalizing your projects makes them extra special. Be sure to align the handle with the seam and use clips to keep everything together, and then sew that box corner closed. All that's left to do is to drop the lining inside of the bag exterior. Make sure that your lining is inside out. This means that the Juki logo that we printed for the lining is going to be seen when the bag is opened. Align the lining to the bag exterior just below the zipper. We want to make sure that we leave enough room for the zipper clearance so that it doesn't get stuck when we open and close the bag. I like to use clips to keep everything secure and then sew that into place. This part can be a little awkward and you might feel like you're really manipulating the bag, but what I try to do is follow the seam that's already created from installing the zipper. And that is how you make a custom makeup bag. Head over to the link in this video to download the So Much More Makeup Bag Pattern.